Alright guys, so welcome back to another one with the um, ST3. A few of you might have picked up in the previous video. Uh, this, obviously this is my new car. It's not a standard car. So today I'm going to be running you through all the optional extra equipment and all the modifications that have been done to the car. Hopefully you enjoy, hopefully you like what this car is going to bring to the channel. I think it's quite fun and um, hopefully you do too. So instantly, um, the first thing that you'll pick up on is the uh, headlights. They are the optional extra um, LED lights. So they come standard with LED lights but the high beams are like a uh, like I'm not L LED I don't, I don't, I don't know what it's called these are all LED like you can see there they actually look quite special and if you compare it to normal headlights which I'll put on the screen now you can see the difference these are like more dark more more tinted obviously the st3 comes with a bunch of options such as like the, the camera the reversing sensors heated seats heated thermal, all that kind of stuff the car has also got bang and olsen sounds system which is is all right it's not the best thing i've ever heard but it is all right it's got an armrest as well i don't know if that's standard with the st3s the seats are absolutely stunning obviously they're standard I do quite like, like this car and um, all the things that it comes with. I believe, as far as options go, that is it. Now, um, let's talk after market. If you can't tell, the car does sit quite nice, like you can tell from the arches. It's on lowering springs. I think they're H H and R, and I think they're 40 mil, so four centimeter drop. From what I know, it does sit sit nice. It doesn't rub. It doesn't scrape. It is a bit a bit stiff, but um, that's a small price to pay for the car to look this this nice i think it's not too low but then like the fitment as i said is absolutely spot on i don't think i'd want it much more low if that makes sense now the second thing um something which i haven't even men mentioned yet the car is stage one um it is a trs stage one it's only like a 20 horsepower increase or so to so like 10 percent if that but the way it brings on the power is amazing. Obviously, I've never driven a standard one, so it might I might be like over gassing it, I don't know. But it is so much fun, obviously. With the pop and bangs, I think they're standard, but they might have been enhanced with the map. With TRS, you need a handset to uh, re re remap the things. The, the company I bought the car off didn't have the original handset, but they had a spare handset, which was brand new. So luckily they gave that to me. I've got to pay to like code it to the car and everything, which I'm probably going to do. And I'm probably going to put it on a video as well, because that is quite interesting to see. As far as I know, they're, they're the only mods. So the lowering springs, which on the back is really stiff. Like if you're going over speed, speed bumps, it feels like the car jumps. And the stage one, which is, um, it's nice, you know, it's, it's nice. Especially going from a one litre, it's, it's quite a big change. As far as I'm aware, they're all the mods on my um, Ford Fiesta ST3. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, leave a like and subscribe, comment your thoughts, any suggestions, and hopefully I'll see you again. Cheers.